Hey, this is Jeremy with Frank Audie's Nursery and Garden Center located on Bargetown Road. And this is the dirt on peonies and lilacs. If you want something beautiful and fragrant in your yard, lilacs and peonies are just about neck and neck. Um, we have a wide variety of peonies. The most difficult choice is gonna be which color to get, which one do I, do I want. Really doesn't matter. They're all gonna perform about the same. Peonies, they'll, they'll have these big giant ball flowers on them. So what you need to do right when they start coming up, make sure you put one of these cages on them. Because what will happen, those flowers get real heavy when they open and they just flop down. And everybody runs over them along the driveway and smashes the flowers. Too much damage can hurt the peony or it can kill it. It just depends on how much damage there actually is. Peonies make great cut flowers. You want to cut them as when they're in bud form before they've opened. It's got a long stem. Just make sure to leave at least three leaves on the plant. That'll help it survive this following year or the coming year. The next good plant would be a lilac. Lilacs basically come in two forms. You have your old fashioned common lilacs, which can get up to about 10 foot. Perfect for a screen or a hedgerow. The second one would be the more compact, like the Miss Kim, the Palabin, or the Bloomerang. Both are known for their strong fragrance. You plant one in the backyard, you walk out the door. If it's blooming, you're gonna smell it. The downside to the big commons is they are known to get powdery mildew, which is usually not life-threatening and can be treated on a fungicide regimen. You just gotta spray them. Um, lilacs, after they're done flowering, even the common ones, don't be scared to cut them on down. That would be the best time to trim them. Even the Miss Kims and the Palabins, if you wanna keep them tight, they'll send up shoots after they bloom, go ahead and cut them back. Now on both of these, soil prep is gonna be important. You want well-draining soil, you want it kind of loamy, what we suggest is dig your hole twice as big as this pot. Anything you ever buy in a container is gonna be real root bound. So make sure you take your knife, slice down the edges, loosen it up the best you can. If you don't, what happens when you go to water, the water just rolls right around it. You loosen that root mass up, that will actually accept the water. You wanna add pine fines, peat moss. You wanna mix this with your native soil. You want a third of each. We also sell a product made by the Espoma company called Biotone Plus. It's got mycorrhiza in it, which are perfect for starting any plant. This has been the Dirt on Lilacs and Peonies. Stop in, check out everything we have. Spring's here. Like us on Facebook or check us out online at audigardencenter.com.